sing it with us and frolicked in the autumn mist in a lang a little louder puff a magic dragon live by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a lang yeah together they would travel on a boat with billowed sail and jackie kept out, perched on Puff's gigantic tail. Noble kings and princes would bow and ere they came. Pirate ships would lower their flags when Puff roared out his name. Sing it now! Puff, the magic dragon, lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist. Rings make way for other toys. One gray night it happened, Jackie Paper came no more, and Puff, that mighty dragon, he ceased his fearless roar. His head was bent in sorrow, green scales fell like rain. Puff no longer went to play along the cherry. Without his lifelong friend, Puff could not be brave. So Puff, that mighty dragon, sadly slipped into his cave. Oh, Puff, the magic dragon, As you can see, I've drawn a circle, and uh, now I'm drawing a divider line down the middle. And what I'm going to do here, since we're only drawing the upper torso of this character, we're going to put a center line that that will be where our eyes go. This line here will be for the shoulders. As you can see, I'm putting arms on him. And this is just a stick figure, just like you used to draw as a kid. Remember, this is just a guideline, something to, to uh, help you know where to put everything. Um, I'm drawing this in marker. I don't advise that. Of course, I've always said, said that uh, I advise people to start out in pencil. Now I'm doing the eyes and these are normal eyes. They're just oversized and exaggerated. But they are a normal eye and I'm putting in a pupil now and I'm leaving them uh, empty. I'm not filling these in, shading these in just yet. I will. Uh, but for now, we're just going to leave them empty. We're just drawing the, the uh, outline of where we want everything, and positioning it, and looking at it, and making sure everything's where we, where it's supposed to be, and at the right angle. Using our guidelines from our circle, our center line, and our eye line. What causes this disease? Well, sir, apathy. Now, in art, we usually call that center line that we use to put in the eyes 
our horizon line. But uh, for right now, we're just going to call it an eye line. Now I'm putting in the uh, the outside of the head, and as you notice, I went above the circle. And that's because there's no such thing as a round head. Um, it's it's a little more oval. And if you've ever seen uh, anybody's head that's bald, you know that their head is not perfectly shaped. There's some odd bumps and uh, protrusions where the skull sticks out. And the same goes for this, even though it's a mythical character, you're not going to want to, uh, to draw it. Like a cartoon. Now I'm not putting in any real detail in this. This is just a basic outline, an idea of how to draw this character. So, whichever you prefer. And as I said before, we're not adding a lot of detail to this. show you an idea of how to draw this character. Now I'm doing the shorts and I'm not going to show you how to draw shorts. Uh, I'm going to assume that you can draw that on your own. I don't think so. That boy's a little thin from the neck up. Now, of course, I, uh, since I'm drawing this in marker, I'm going to go back and darken this up a little bit and put in a little detail so you can sh so to show you where everything would go and how it would go. You can see me pausing, looking at everything. But uh, in reality, at this point, what you would do is erase your framework or your stick figure and your circle and go back in and really darken this up and, and uh, add the detail that you, your drawing needs. And if you've watched any of my previous drawings, or my speed drawing of this character, you notice that I start out in very light pencil. Almost, you, can, you can't hardly even see it. My lines are so light. And that's so that I don't have to erase. I can just go back and just add that in and shade it in into the uh, drawing. But here I'm trying to show you how to draw this, so I'm just going to darken it up using this marker. And that's all there is to this character, really. Um, I hope this helps you, and I hope you enjoyed drawing with me today. And I hope that you will try this character. He is a really neat character, and he's really simple to draw. And for beginners, it will really help you on positioning uh, everything and learning about how to draw eyes 
and uh, form. And it's really important to get that form down. Otherwise, you're going to have problems in every other drawing you do. So, this is something that will really help you. And I hope you enjoy it. Good day and God bless. with a bullet? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but it seems that the Earth people are so hungry for leadership. They need someone to guide them into the next century. And I know just the Orkin who can do it. Oh, thank you, sir. I better go hop in the shower, then. <laughs> Mark! <laughs> Mark. Silly, misguided Mark. I was referring, of course, to myself. Twinkle of eyes, sparkle of teeth. <laughs> All me, vacuous of head. <laughs> I should have known better. I mean, you're the best there is in the whole universe. I want to know I'm a Zerko groupie. See, see? See? Oh. Well, remind me to send you a Zirko lunchbox. <laughs> I can't believe this. Why am I so lucky? Because, Mark, you are a key person in my plan for success. Plan? What's your plan, sir? Please, what's the plan? plan? Hey, what's the plan? plan? <laughs> Mark, you are so inquisitive. Now, that's what sets us apart. You ask, and I know. <laughs> but you must be patient, my friend. This also involves your earthling Mindy as well. And I'd like to explain it to the two of you when you're together. Oh, oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. I mean, once again, you're right, you're everything. <laughs> oh, oh, I mean, I can wait just till morning. You know, that's our time. <laughs> morning already? <laughs> <laughs> Come, sir, let's go. Oh, wait. <laughs> Not necessary. <laughs> Mindy's asleep. She's going to be really thrilled to meet you. Well, who can blame her? 